Okay. <laughs> Hello, dear friends. Good, good evening. Such a, a beautiful, beautiful evening. So here I am uh, in front of uh, my computer. I am sitting here quite comfortable. I do not have a, a, a very special chair. I like uh, a folding chair. I like hard chair. It's just a wood chair, and I put my <laughs> my feet on the table, so it's、uh, it's kind of comfortable. And、uh, I am looking through some of、uh, the comments. So here is my story, and、uh, some of my. Uh, Uh, recent progress and recent things. I will,、um, I will do several of these videos to hagunt, to to narrate, to to tell you、um, what is happening recently. Okay, the starting of this story is one friend comment. Good evening, dear Haiying. I have a a request. Could you please do one of these bad time bad time storytellings? I had watched it in some of your old videos, and、uh, they are amazing. Those with a simple black background. Where we can hear, we can just hear your whispering a story. It hits home. See if others who see my comment agree with this idea. So this comment actually got twenty three sum up and、uh, got nine replies, including my reply. Oh my God! These were awesome, and、uh, those are relaxing videos. So I do have some friends、uh, like it, and also we have one friend said, uh, uh, "I like cinematic voiceover. If I want it to be." Black screen. I just turn off the screen and、uh, listen to it. That's kind of makes sense. So here I am doing、uh, audio recording, so that uh, you know. Uh, here is the story of this、uh, black screen, and.、Uh, I choose to use the lowest video quality. I think it's one hundred three hundred sixty by something. It's the lowest lowest video quality with a digital digital camera. I did those videos many many years ago, so that、uh, it will be easy for me to upload. I think I was just、uh, holding the camera and talking in front of the camera, and in bed, almost falling asleep, or just like that. So that was it, and it was quite to my surprise that people liked it. Then I start to think. Well, in this world. Everyone has something peculiar that other people may not find it interesting. So, this couple of days is a huge change in my life, and、uh, it's in the sense that、uh, I start. I had.、Uh, um, What do we say?、Uh, one friend said, "Since there is an existential crisis, 
I think I did had some of this awakening moment, this shocking moment. I talked to my to my workplace and got help. I got my um, my workload changed and uh, with uh, with uh, with uh, how do we say it with not negotiation with a give and take let's say it's a fair deal for everyone involved I think and that makes me to think once you have problems you need to speak out. The day I spoke out to, to my workplace, to my boss, I feel I felt so uplifted. A big, huge, heavy stone was lifted off my chest. And I came back home. I chatted with my son, and uh, with my son, we, 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 we chat a lot about these kind of uh, uh, things. What inspire you, and uh, what do you think is uh, the, the best thing in life? What do you do if you have a million dollars, something, what? Those kind of things. And uh, it's just inspiring to see he has grown from my baby into a person with independent thought with his idea. Okay, not to praise any <laughs> of my relatives. So I talked with my son, with my family. And I said, I spoke out. I think uh, the problem got, that was a few uh, weeks ago. I said, the problem got solved or not is not even important. It's not important. The important thing is I get it out of my chest. I have overcome myself. There is no bigger enemy. There is no bigger stoppage in our life than ourself. It's our fear. It's our own thinking that decide our life, our destiny. So I, I told my son that uh, I am so uh, relieved to speak it out. And he said one thing, really, uh, really uh, made me think. It's uh, so crisp and, uh, and precise. No one knows your heart if you do not speak it out. No one knows what you think if you do not let other people know it. Nobody can guess it. You have to speak it out. Yeah. So, okay, that is that thing. I spoke out and I got my problem solved, handled. And that makes me to think one thing. And especially that couple of days, I was working very hard. And then I got sick. And uh, I was working so hard. I go to work early in the morning and stayed inside the school, inside my place, not seeing outside sunshine, maybe a, a, a lunch break coffee shop, but I do not have much time to see outside. And it was raining those couple of days, it rained. And, uh, and uh, 
I finish my work when it is already dark. So I do not, I did not see outside. There was one day I need to go to work during the day. And I went out to see. I saw the street, I saw the trees. Maybe you have seen some of my video, my neighborhood is so beautiful, so beautiful. The whole, the whole Bay Area, whole California is so beautiful for Liard. But just a couple of days later, after the rain, I went to see the streets. The morning street, frosted. There was this, uh, this frost, this uh, little ice crystal on the grass, on the trees, and those beautiful red leaves, golden, yellow, kinko leaves, gone. They were all gone, overnight, overnight, they were gone. I was shocked. I was, I was stunned. I was numbed. I just suddenly lost the feeling. Oh, the feeling is so strong, was so strong, I did not know what to think. It's all gone. It's dead. And I got sick. And then I start to think. Life can be gone just overnight. You know, I was very healthy. I am a very healthy person. I get to, to enjoy sickness. Why do I say enjoy sickness? Oh, my computer shut off because uh, uh, it automatically uh, switch off, right? Now it's really black screen in front of me. So, where were we? <clears throat> so it's suddenly gone. Life can be so fragile, so fragile. I lost my voice. I lost my ability to think. I lost my ability to function. I am very, very healthy person. Every one or two years, I have one time to, 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 to cough or something, but uh, never, never had problem. I do not know what is Telenoy, what, what is Motrin. I do not know anything about medicine because I'm so strong. I am so healthy. I do not eat any medicine. I think I ate some NyQuil and that's it. I do not eat any medicine. My body is pure. If I need something, I eat natural food. So this, those couple of days, I um, <clears throat> drank honey water, honey, uh, lemon, honey, salt, water. And, uh, yeah, and uh, those couple of days I was feeling completely out of control, my body. I got fat for five pounds. 
because my body does not function, does not have the right circulation system, I feel. I got fat and just feel the whole body is not running right. And I do not like getting fat. <clears throat> I do not like to gain weight. It's uh, something that I very much dislike, that feeling of gaining weight. I like to keep it, keep myself as I, my usual. Mm. And uh, it was so shocking for me. Life can be so fragile. We can be gone overnight. Trees can be gone overnight. We can be we can be finished just at any time. That was that. So, that was an awakening moment. Live today. Tomorrow is too far away. Tomorrow is too far away. Today is what you can hold. This is why today is present. Not past, not future. Do not need to think about future. I live today. If I want to make video, I make video. If I want to eat, I eat. If I do not want to eat, I am not eating today. I am not sleeping today. I am not doing anything today. If I do not want to do it, I live my life in my term. I want to live my life in my term at that moment. So it was an awakening moment for me. It was such an awakening moment. And with this awakening moment came out some actions, actually. Okay, so <clears throat> It would, I got sick and also it was a, a, a vacation period, right? So I do not need to go to work. We do not go to work and I have, uh, I have plenty of time, a whole week of time doing nothing. <laughs> I am not in the mood of doing anything. So I start to search internet. And uh, some story I need to tell you. Uh, Pinterest. So from uh, about three or four months ago, I did not know from where I start to hear about Pinterest. I always used Pinterest, but I have never participated in any uh, really serious p uh, Pinterest. And then there was one video uh, introducing you can make money on Pinterest. There is a creator fund. So I got uh, uh, interested and uh, got a business account and those things. And Pinterest even pay money for making video. You make one video, make every week with one video. At the end of uh, four weeks, you get paid for $50, $120, $200. They have a scale, I think. The first time they give you $200 and then give you $100 and then give you $50, something like it. Anyway, so I, I start to listen to how to, how to develop your, your business on Pinterest. And uh, it's about idea pin, a short form video. Then I start to learn it. And then I was so inspired. People 
show their bank account in the in the video show their income someone make 6000 someone make 10000 someone make 3000 that was very inspiring if i can make this much money at the end of the day i didn't make that much money i think i made 50 dollar 100 dollar something like it anyway so it just opened up a new door, a new window that uh, I can make short form video idea pins and make money. I love money. There's no doubt about it. I love money. I love small money. I do not love big money. I don't know. I have no sense of big money. I can feel $10, $20, $50, $100. I know the value of it. $1 million does not make any sense to me. I have no, no sense, no, 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 no proportional value sense of that big money. Anyway, so then I start to make short form video and uh, one minute two minutes video and then it needs to be a vertical form and I cannot make video on my iPhone use iMovie now I know how to make short video on my iMovie vertical yeah there is a trick and uh, so I download uh, a free website, uh, a free app, and in this app, it uh, it um, it has the company uh, watermark on it. And just at this time, I got Canva uh, Canva app, Canva Pro account. You know, as a teacher, Canva give to all the teachers. If you are a teacher, check with, uh, with your school district, with your school. Maybe your school has a Canva for free. Get a pro account. It's an educational account. So at least there is no more watermark. And I can have much more uh, functionality, something. I do not use... Um, their, their template and things, but I can make video without, uh, without the watermark. So I start to make short form videos. And then I do not know from where. I went to pin, uh, uh, Instagram. Instagram also have this uh, creator fun. If you make real, and now real is the thing, everything is real. If you make real, one minute, 90 seconds video, then you can, uh, they also have a fund. I didn't get much, but I participated. I think I made $20, $50 something. Yeah. <laughs> so... There are many, many opportunities. It's not about making $50, working hard to make these $50. One dollar, uh, one short form video, one minute video, they pay you $10. And there is a limit. They only give you the bonus of $50. You cannot make more than $50. Yeah, so I started to make uh, Instagram video. And then I start to listen to others. You know, there are so many people making how to make viral, viral videos. There are, there are also, YouTube is bombarded with this. So you take it as uh, with a grain of salt, right? 
just listen to a little bit and then do your thing. Now I I post one or two short videos, real on Instagram. I like to create content. And recently, the the Instagram um, the 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 trending thing is using a music. I try to avoid using music. If when I am cooking the sound is too noisy, then I use their music. Otherwise, I still talk. I try to make my video um, uh, like a kind of education. For example, making an origami, and within one minute, origami and Chinese painting, with within one minute. So I started to post on on uh, Instagram. One of my first video, I think, one of my first when I know that pin Instagram can is serious uh, about real. My first got eighty three thousand views just within one. One hour or something, it's kind of viral. Oh, I was so shocked. Suddenly, boom! So many views. So, what is the algorithm of Instagram, of YouTube Shorts, of all these? It's like hunting the bird. The content creators, you make videos, your videos you post it at a certain time. Maybe any time you post it, it's like bird flying in the sky. Many many birds. Every video is a bird. And uh, Instagram algorithm. YouTube algorithm and uh, Pinterest algorithm. It's like a gun. It's a, it's like a sniper. They just shoot the birds. There are so many birds. You have a chance to God shoot. They shoot you, and then you go viral. If you have only one video. The chance is less. If you have more video, if all the sky, the birds in the sky, are your video, the algorithm, algorithm anyway will shoot the sky, will shoot the birds. You have more chance to go viral, right? Of course, there are people say you need to make it short. You need to make it sweet. You need to make it. But the truth is that all these short videos are so silly. Are so silly. You cannot learn anything. You cannot learn anything. So, but you start to understand. That people are changing, our viewing habit are changing. That is very true. People are not watching long videos. A lot of people. It's different from my viewers. My viewers, my subscribers. If you are still here, listen to me. You are the odd. We are the odd person. We like you listen to long video because you are odd. You are a little bit off in the society, don't you think so? You are a little bit different from other people, right? <laughs> the glorious isolation. <laughs> the dignified. Isolation. That's us. <laughs> Shameless. 
yeah so 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 no matter how the algorithm work no matter how the trend work short video does not make sense short video does not make sense it will be gone it will be gone it's just a temporary thing it's it is a temporary thing people will start to realize later on people will at the end of the day realize it is entertaining and it is wasting time but on the other hand it is a an, an ability to be able to tell the story in a precise short time video of three seconds with uh, with pictures bing bong 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 it's i i detest je detest je detest les video comme ça but video of something like 30 seconds, one second, and you can still tell a story. And it is an ability that within a one minute frame, you can tell a complete story. It's a little bit like a short story, mini short story. Someone knock on the door. I opened. There's nothing. Nobody. But on the floor, there is one shoe. Not even a pair of shoes, one shoe. Something like this a suspension. I was just to suddenly think about this story. That's a, that's a quite interesting story. Or maybe the spoon story. Snake crawling into the spoon box. The chicken soup, chicken powder spoon disappeared. Something like it, right? Those kind of suspension. I mean, making short video at this time is kind of interesting. I spend a lot of time making short videos because... Uh, it's just a curiosity. It's my own curiosity. I want to know how these things work. So my first video got my Yang Hai Ying viral. I mean, not uh, the, the, the... Okay, I, I should say that's Yang Hai Ying viral, 80,000th view in one hour. It's not... Uh, uh, a real when they say viral it's a million view a billion view something like it my is not but um, now i am i used to check status inside how many views i have and uh, how many likes i have now i do not check or i still check but not so much um, glue to it now each of my uh, reel get uh, 300, 200, 100, 200, up to 1,000 something. And uh, it is true, I still can, can, can feel there is a kind of algorithm. When you post video at a certain time, <coughs> in the night it's always not running well, not good. Uh, I have
have posted some of the, the video at 11 o'clock my time, evening, does not work well. And in the morning, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, there is a chance, there is a peak. At the very first, when you post it, bing, you get a lot of views. Anyway, it's kind of a social experiment, right? I am not following it, but I'm judging in my own way. I am using my own database to see how this works. I am not a big, big data company, but even in my very teeny tiny little angle, my perspective, I can still see something of the world, of the society, of the social media, of these things, how it works. Yeah, it really makes me very uh, curious. Did I say one time, what is your, your motivation? What inspires you? What inspires me? Curiosity. I just want to understand. I want to understand. I want to give an explanation to anything, everything happens in my life. That 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 triggers me. That that uh, uh, interests me. I need to tell you one thing. One day in the class, I asked the students, third grade students, eight years old, something about eight years old. Would you like to do... Okay. Would you like to go to a big, spacious art room? Or would you like to stay in your... in your uh, learning classroom? There to there are, they can go to art room, big, spacious, large table with paints, with everything, with paper, with paints, with brush, with cardboard, everything, with clay, or in their own classroom, cramped, relatively cramped, that not much room to move, with a math book, with a Chinese book, English book, and... Uh, uh, computer and, and these things. So it's, it's quite an obvious, of course, go to the art room will be fun, right? So I said, put your hand on the table, do not raise it. You have two choices. I say art room, you raise, or I say classroom, <coughs> your own classroom, you raise. So everyone is ready. I see. So now we start to vote. If you want to go to an uh, art room, the big, spacious, with everything art room, raise your hand. I start to count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, put your hand down. Now, want to stay inside the class, raise your hand. One, two, three, four. And... Uh, want to go to, um, to my surprise. It's not a huge difference. It's almost half-half. But uh, uh, art room is a little bit more. So I said, mm, okay, so let's do this way. The first period, we stay in classroom. And the Second period, we stay here for one hour, and then we go to art room. I thought this was the most fair solution. One third grade little student, eight years old. What's the point to make a vote? Then what's the point to vote? I 
was shocked. I was shocked. <coughs> and the whole class also was embarrassed. And they feel, gosh, that's not polite to the teacher. And I was just, yeah, it's kind of a losing face to be questioned by the student. And then I was so admired the student, actually. <clears throat> I give myself just a couple of seconds to to, to think, to process, I start to admire the, st the student. That's so pure. That's so brave. That's so courageous. There is no any of the other things. What do we want the students? We want to be themselves. We want to keep their, their, their authenticity. I want them to be like. I so admire this student. I think from now on he will he will have a, he gained my respect. He gained my respect. Yeah. So this is one example. I have gained a lot of respect from the people who in a sense it's kind of make me embarrassed. I respect these people. I respect people to speak out their heart without fear of others, without the social bondage. And they are still so pure. I, I just admire it. <clears throat> Where were we? Yeah, it's totally dark here. The computer turned off. It's middle of the night and I am just talking like that. That's... I am a little bit lost. But... Uh, But the story is about, <coughs> about my existential crisis or starting a new chapter of my life, right? Okay, so here is something I would like to, to chat with you. Do you want to make short videos? Do you want to make reels? Do you want to make Pinterest idea pins? Have you seen my short videos, YouTube shorts, uh, Instagram uh, reels, and uh, and uh, uh, Pinterest idea pins. If you like it, and if you want to, want to do it, maybe I can do a video to do a demo. If you want, let me know. If nobody wants it, maybe I will still make it because I want. <laughs> Anyway, I, I, I am curious about uh, about your opinion. I do not think any of you will hear this because this video is too long. <laughs> because you must have already fallen asleep. Thank you very, very much. I love you. I really do. Do 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 do. Goodbye bye.